world famous gun show, baby. Yes, indeed, yo. I'm back in the yard. You see me in my backyard, yo. I got lots of space to shoot. And today is going to be another interesting one. This is in my series called Doping Your Rifle, which doping the rifle is just such a dope thing to do to your rifle, you know? When you get out in the yard, doping your rifle is basically reading the rise and the dip of the bullets. So this rifle that I got today, we're going to zero it from 50 yards. And then from 50 yards, we're going to come into 25 and see where the bullets are hitting. We're going to go out to 75, see what the rise is like. Go out to 100, 150, see what that rise is like. And then we want to get out to 200 and start tracking where the dip is going to be. My estimations with this round that I'm shooting today, before I tell you what the round is, I believe with a 50-yard zero, it's going to be rising at 100, rising at 125, 150 rising but somewhere around 200 i expect it to start coming down i assume 200 is actually gonna be the equal zero or the equal to a 50 yard zero out at distance because bullets actually travel on an arc so when you fire it goes on an arc and it comes back down at a certain point and we're gonna try and track that with this round what round am i talking about 545 by 39 baby this is my favorite round it's my overall favorite rifle round i love shooting this out of ak-74s but today we're gonna shoot it out of an ar-15 Yes, I have a 545 by 39 AR-15 special build, special build, okay? I'm not even going to shout out the companies because we want to get straight to doing what it is we do on this. You see, I got the MRO optic, and that's probably about the most that I'm going to shout out. We'll be zeroing this gun and shooting this gun out to distance with regular red dot, one-time sights, no magnification, basically, just a regular red dot. We're going to see what we can do, see how this bullet performs, and see how far out we can get it to shoot today. It's the 545 by 39 AR-15. It's such a rare gun. A lot of people don't have guns like this. So let's see how it performs. It took about a year in total to get this rifle all together and running the right way. The buffer system was something that was very challenging. I had to really work on the configurations for that. And then when it came to the gas system, this is an intermediate gas system, which is really for an 18 inch barrel, but this is a 16 inch barrel. And I had to get the barrel headspace the right way. So I'm so happy to see the gun running really good right now. Twenty five yards. At 25 yards, when I made it up to the target to see where the shots were landing, they were definitely lower than that 50 yard zero. So I would have to adjust my hold if I was within 50 yards and I wanted to make a precise shot. Shooting from 75 yards, 545 by 39 with a 50 yard zero, trying to see how the bullet rises. I knew the bullet would be rising from 75 yards. However, it wasn't such a drastic rise above a 50 yard zero. I got the feeling. Back at 100 yards, shooting 545. Five. Trying to check the bullet rise. 100 yards was actually the peak rise of this round. Hundred and fifty yards, five four five, fifty yards zero. It was very nice shooting weather. There was almost no wind whatsoever. Hundred and seventy five yards, five four five. Using the MRO out at this distance was really comfortable. I was able to see the dot really crisp out the glass. Everything was just what I liked it to be. The setting that I had it on was ideal also. We've come to the conclusion, 545 by 39 doping, we have the results. But first off, 
I want to welcome everybody to my yard, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shooting distance in the yard. And every day that I possibly can, I come out here and I make some videos that are going to show you something interesting about what these rounds are going to do. So let's get 545 by 39 doping. What it is I'm noticing about it, okay? We started with a 50-yard zero. From the 50-yard zero, 75 yards climbed just a little bit. However, 100 yards really climbed up a lot. It was soaring. But when we shot from 150, it came down some. However, still above our 50-yard zero. Also the same for 175 yards above our 50-yard zero. Now, when it was time for us to do 200, it rang in slightly above our 50-yard zero. So we went out to 225. 225 gave us a few inconsistencies. There were some high shots. There were some low shots. But we basically did it again and came that our 225 yards was below our 50 yard zero so we thought 210 yards would be the sweet spot for the 50 yard zero with the 545 by 39 round ha ha that was not the case 210 yards even came in a little tricky using a red dot you know so 210 kind of came in under our 50 yard zero with a few more shots that rang in more under the 50 yard zero than some that rang in above the 50 yard zero. So I'm going to conclude that somewhere around 170, now nah, about let's just say 190, 190 to 200 yards, 200 to 205 yards, 205 to 190, something like that. That's going to be equivalent to your 50 yard zero when you're shooting out to distance. And what do I mean equivalent to your 50 yard zero? Same point of aim as your point of impact. Your point of aim and point of impact at 50 yards is going to be the same point of aim and point of impact. I'm saying at about 195 or, you know, uh, slightly above 200 yards, depending on who you are. As We're you using shoot. Red Army Standard Ammunition, 545 by 39, 59 grain full metal jacket, steel case ammo. This was a very, very, very good day shooting. This is the world famous gun show. I want y'all to make sure, please, you leave your comments, like, subscribe. I want you to give me some more things that you think that I can do. Look at We got our 50 yard zero. We already know that our bullets are going to start dropping at 225. So what we're going to do is we're going to push on out to 275 and we're going to see what we can do. I got the trusty old OTMI steel here and we got the yard, baby. You see the yard, man. Let's get out. Let's do some shooting. Let's see if we can ring some steel. Trying to hit some steel from ah, 275 yards. I got a 50 yard zero on the gun, which means I know that I got to bring it up some. Hey, 275, baby.